What's up guys and welcome back to another Foul Friday here with your boy Bobby. And I just wanted to show you guys a couple things right off the get go. And that is, I just got this hat in and I have not showed you guys this. This is the Foul Attic shirt. This is one of our original designs that uh, Flair and I thought of and, and actually made. One of the most original designs that we have, seriously, is freaking fresh go pick you up one of those those are linked in the description below as far as giving this thing away yes i have picked a winner uh stay tuned because here in a couple minutes uh for you guys i will be telling you who won this bad boy but first off look what i freaking got here look at that that is my little duck john boat i have had this thing mm, Man, I'm probably, I don't know, like eight or nine years. Me and Wade have used the crap out of this thing out at Cheyenne Bottoms. And then we've used it a bunch uh, on open water hunts to go retrieve our ducks and, and geese. We've used it a bunch for uh, lesser hunts over water. But got it all torn apart. My dad has had it for a couple years. I haven't used it for hunting purposes probably for a couple years. Um... Now I got it back and I'm like, hey, that would be a great idea to have for the channel. So we're going to have some episodes coming up where we're going to be working on this thing. I have a bunch of holes to repair in this. So we're going to get it all back to tip top shape. And we have to put the styrofoam back in it. Got styrofoam there. Got all the styrofoam there. Got, oh, hold up. Got parts and pieces there. <clears throat> so that thing is literally just scattered everywhere. So. We're going to get that thing all put together. I can't wait to have this thing ready again because out at Cheyenne Bottoms, I know a lot of you know uh, what Cheyenne Bottoms is and where it's at. Uh, it's one of the best public uh, public areas to hunt around me here in central, central Kansas that we have. And the great thing about Cheyenne Bottoms is that their big duck season opens up a couple, to, well, a couple weeks early earlier than what my zone does here and it's only about a 45 minute drive so I want to get this thing done so we can take it to Cheyenne Bottoms uh, this next coming week and uh, yeah as you can tell here I, I had it all camoed up I had freak I had it completely army greened out and had cattails painted all on the sides uh, obviously have to get it re-registered and put all back together get it repainted seal up all the freaking holes on it it's got a bunch like seriously it got so bad i couldn't even take it fishing anymore i think you guys have seen like two bass fishing videos out of that thing and i about sunk it both times if you haven't seen them they're like some of my first videos i ever posted this thing is fixed up uh and and all the holes rep repaired and and that's what we're going to do i'm going to walk you through it. i'm going to show you how i repair them how i fix the boat and we're going to get it in tip-top shape so me and you know it's really just a two-man boat you'll put two bags of decoys some mojos your guns two bags and that's about all she's good for now in the past me wade and nick have went three man deep in here with all gear and let me tell you what the water was about uh, like that high so i am excited i want to make it a little bit a little bit more buoyant so if you guys have any comments i need some help with this boat here guys if you guys have any um man if you guys have any tips on this boat i want to make it more buoyant so how do i add more foam to it how do i make it more you know better floating so i can fit you know carry more weight in it it's only good for about two man like i said but if i can make it a little more buoyant what i use it for i just throw the throw the uh, trolling motor on it and it literally just gets me from point a to point b out in the marsh we don't hunt out of it uh, it's not stable enough but and it's not really big enough to hunt out of and have a blind on it and whatnot. Basically just gets you out in the reeds, gets you to your hole so you can sit your spread and do some duck hunting. If you guys have any, any ideas, any <clears throat> tips that would help me make this better, make it more buoyant, whatever you guys think would help, let me know down in the comments down below. Let's get on to who's winning this bad boy. Luke Bontrager, get a hold of me. Hit me up in the DMs on Instagram. Uh, I can't thank Luke enough. He always has great comments, has great, great, positive, positive vibe guy, man. 
Always great comments in the comment description below. Always saying, go for it, Bobby. Uh, don't worry about it. Keep your head up. All this job crap that's been going. So shout out to you. Hit me up, Luke. I will mail you this bad boy right here. But guys, be looking out for some duck boat videos. Gonna get this John boat all hooked up, squared away, and good to go on some Cheyenne Bottoms hunts coming up. And as well, it's gonna be a busy weekend. We're releasing a bunch of new products this weekend. Be looking out for some videos. Uh, be looking out for the pigeon videos coming up next. We're gonna have huge things going on this weekend. Gonna be busy, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Thank you for watching, y'all. Please subscribe if you haven't. Hit this thumbs up if you like this video. We'll see you again, guys. Peace. Yeah, guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead. I put my